Hi everyone. Okay, so today I want to make a card. Now this is just one, um, my card making idea series. So I thought, right, what am I going to do today? So I want to make a nice card using the Daisy B 1920s lovely lady. I've been down to make her, use her for ages. So I thought, right, here we go. Now I have her here on my stamping platform. You can see she's a lot larger than what they look on the package and these stamps are fantastic sized. So I want to make an aperture card. So I've got this six by six um, scalloped card from Hobbycraft pre-made. And I'm just going to use this X cut nesting die to cut out my aperture. But what I want to do first is I'm going to use the sentiment because it's so pretty from the definition of beauty. Stamp the sentiment here. Now it's a curved sentiment and it says a kind heart is a definition of beauty. And I think that's gorgeous. So I want to make sure it's going to fit once I have cut out my aperture so that should just about fit there so that's where I'm going to put my aperture so I'm just going to tape it down and run it through the die cutting machine now if your plates on your die cutting machine are a little bit marked and things when you're running it through the die cut machine making this card put a piece of copier paper over the back so that it doesn't mark or leave any dents on the card Okay, so I've cut it out and you see I don't have any marks or anything on the card. That's because I just laid the sheet of copy paper down because I need to get new plates for my Gemini. Okay, so there is my aperture. And I want to stamp the definition of beauty, first of all, before I do the lady on the inside so let's see let's just pop it down on my stamping block like that and I'm going to use my VersaFine black onyx okay and I'm being brave I'm going to move it my stamping platform and Let's just see if I can put that about there. And just press it down. Fingers crossed. Hope for the best. There we go. Absolutely perfect. So a kind heart is a definition of beauty. Isn't that nice? So let's do the stamping on the inside. So I've turned my aperture to the back. I've got my stamping platform here. And I've got some ink on it, so I am going to take a baby wipe and just take this off. Oh, it's not coming off. And the reason that's not coming off is that it stays on. So it's fine, it doesn't make any difference to your actual um, platform. It's just marked. I need something to dry that with. So in true Sam style, I'll just use my T-shirt. <laughs> It's all right, I'm actually um, dressed to go paint in any way because I'm going to my daughter's to continue painting her haul today. Okay, so I want that bit there. So I'm just going to put my magnets down and use Diversifying just to stamp her up. And let's stamp her down. And my chair is squeaking off my desk. So let's just give her a wee press. I'm still not 100% sold on this stamping platform. I feel like you can't press it very well, but there we go. I'll just give her one more going over. Press her down. Oh, she is gorgeous look at the detail in her necklace and her dress all over okay so stamped out perfectly so let's just take those off pop that to the side now i'm going to hit it with a shot of heat just because it's the 
Versafine and it stays a bit wet for a bit longer. And if I went in with my pens straight away, it would just move. So just a quick blast of heat. It's really beautiful. I really, really like this stamp, guys. I'm into like vintage images and things anyway, you know that, but I think she is so pretty. So when my aperture closes, I'm going to have a kind heart as a definition of beauty. And there she is in the centre. Isn't she lovely? I really, really, really like her. So I've got a wee bit of ink and things here, but I can cover that up. And the way I'll cover it is just take my stencil, take a little bit of Distress Ink, and let's just add a few flowers. This just takes away the plainness in the background as well, you know, that white starkness. If we just give it a little bit of stencil. There we go. So... Then, I want to bring in my Arteza markers. These are my alcohol markers. I will link everything I'm using, guys. I'll link the markers, I'll link the stamps and things all down below. If you're interested, you can go and take a wee peek. So, let's put... sheet of this is just copy paper underneath so what colour do I want to make her hair hmm. decisions, decisions hazelnut cream maybe, the good thing about having the, mark, the paper under it as well is you can give it a little test and see so I'm just going to go in and add in some brown highlights in her hair and I'm using the big chisel end to do this just for speed okay a wee bit round her face Okay. Now I know she's 1920s and she might not have had highlights and things in her hair but this just makes it look a wee bit more real. If you give her multicoloured, you know, tones to her hair. So really fast, just Adding in some colour. And you can see I am definitely not, <laughs> understatement, definitely not um, good at colouring. I just go with what I think. I think that's the fun bit of it as well. I know a lot of people are amazing at using alcohol markers and getting them to blend and everything like that. But I just like the effect it gives you, so I just like colouring with them. The way I do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I've went ahead and coloured it in, so you didn't have to sit and watch me. I'm just going to use the clear Spectrum Water Sparkle pen and just give a little bit of sparkle. You probably won't see this on screen, but to her beads and her ring. And we'll give a little bit of sparkle to her eyes as well. Now, I just want to take the Distress Ink and Vintage Photo again. And go around the edge 
just to give it a little more distressing. Like that. And I'm also going to take the pad around the edge of the card. Just darkens it up, makes it stand out a little bit. And we'll just take the stencil over this piece of the card as well to tie it in. Okay, so she's looking nice. So then when we close our aperture, there she is. A kind heart is a definition of beauty. So let's just distress this piece up as well. And I'm not going to use the stencil over the front because then it draws your eye into the middle. So then I have this um, collage of flowers that Deborah Holdforth had put on some packaging that she sent me. So I'm just going to trim around that. Make it into more of a topper. Like that. And I try to make the colours that I coloured are match the flowers and things. So that is going to sit there. So let's take some glue and just pop it on here. And then stick that on there, like that. Then all I'm going to add is some bling. I've got some of this sort of peachy pinky bling here, so I thought that would look nice. So this one. So we'll just add one there. One there, and we'll go for one here. That one there. That one there. And don't worry if some of the glue comes out, because this glue, the Anita's Tacky Glue, dries clear anyway, so you don't have to worry too much about it and that is my finished card and I think that is really sweet now what I would go ahead and do is because I've been using my alcohol markers you can see on the back so all I would do there is take another one of the cards trim it in half right in the middle now the good thing about this as well is because I've made an aperture card Obviously, I've taken a big bit of the card away, so I've taken a lot of the stability of the card away. So this puts a lot of the stability back in. So I would just go ahead and glue that on the back. Oops, this flower's coming off here. Just push some glue on. Glue that on the back. And that also gives you a nice, clean back to write your message on. So there she is. There's my card, guys. Let me know what you think. Talk to me in the comments and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.